Breaking news of Josh Taylor getting stripped of his WBC title at 140 after turning down a fight with his mandatory Zabeda, which is very surprising to hear since Josh Taylor recently said that he's going to fight Zabeda first and then give Jack Catterall a rematch. However, out of nowhere, Josh Taylor relinquished his WBC title today ahead of his purse bid with his mandatory Zabeda. And that's when the WBC ordered Zabeda versus Ramirez to fight for the vacant belt, which leaves the question, what exactly is Josh Taylor going to do next? His next move is his best move. If he doesn't give Catterall a rematch, then that will be a career suicidal decision. So hopefully for Josh Taylor's sake, he will make the right decision. He can't afford to go from robbery of the year last year against Catterall, where Catterall clearly won the fight, to then avoiding his mandatory Zabeda. And to make matters worse, not be a man of his word and give Catterall a rematch. Recently, Josh Taylor and Catterall had a back and forth on Twitter, where Catterall won that exchange like he won the first fight. In all reality, Catterall should be the undisputed champion today at 140. However, they robbed him of a lifetime achievement. Therefore, there is nowhere for Josh Taylor to go but to give Catterall the rematch that everyone wants to see. Last but not least, can someone logically explain why Regis is not fighting for neither of the WBA or the WBC vacant titles? Especially when you factor in that Ramirez avoided Regis when they were both champions and even the Josh Taylor fight was extremely close. I mean, without a doubt, Regis is now becoming the most avoided fighter at 140 today. And I'm gonna leave you guys with what Regis had to say. Now y'all tell me this, answer me this, right? How is two titles vacant? Two titles vacant? And I'm not fighting for either one of them. That shit don't make sense, bro. I was supposed to fight for the WBA. You, you, you saw what they did, right? And now the WBC, um, they got Ramirez and Jose Zapata fighting each other for the WBC. And how I'm not even a mix. First off, my last fight was a mandatory. If you know what mandatory means, that means I'm supposed to be next. I'm supposed to be right there next, right? What the fuck is going on, bro? Like, for real, what is going on? How am I even not fighting for either one of them? This shit is insane. Like, this shit not making sense. This shit is insane, bro. I'm in. I don't even know what to say, bro. Somebody fix this, please.